What are you waiting for? Attack the Earth! This is the point of everything we've been doing, guys! Are you sure this is even necessary? Yeah, the Earth seems willing to talk. Besides, we agreed to help Titan and he- You're dead, Titan! Forget what the Earth said! Just... Come on, we are so close! It won't do, Ganymede. These moons seem to have short-term memory. Oh, what do you mean? Have you forgotten how the planets treat us? How they undermine us? Call us names? Think of us as inferior or, uh, I don't know, destroy us with their gravity by accident? <sighs> you will think that because the Earth said a few nice things that everything will be different. Uh, if only it was so easy. Shut up! Uranus joked about destroying us like it was nothing. Well, you've got a point there. Girls, come on. We are one step away from victory. All we have to do is take it. Let's try this again. <clears throat> Attack! Disconnected from this conflict to even understand what you are doing wrong. For you, this is just a game or a power play of soul. What about you? Are you telling me there's no ego involved for you, Titan? Saturn's favorite moon? Come on. The Earth took you off of your pedestal and you lost your cool. You're just like me. But perhaps you are right. I have made some mistakes. And trying to improve things, I simply switched the roles. The Earth was humbled and I turned into a bully. But that's wrong. This is not how we achieve balance. Have you seen the planets we orbit? They are thousands of times bigger than us. Yeah, where's the balance in that, Titan? How do you plan to convince them to respect us? By talking. Yeah, we've done enough of that. Attack! Explosive device worked. Good thing you were prepared for this. Uh, hello? Oh, he hung up! Did they hit you? Nah. The Earthlings nuked the asteroid. Huh. First time nuclear bombs have been used for something good, right? Enough! Callisto, I'll get out of here before we level your surfaces. Are you trying to threaten us, Europa? Because... It's not working. Did you 
find them? Did you find the gas giants? Nope. Even better. Hey, y'all. What's the catch? No catch. I just thought you needed to hear this. I am Pluto's moon, Sharon. We are what's known as a double planet because the axis of our rotation is outside of Pluto's surface. Just like the other planets, it took me time to come to accept it. But now I do. There is no difference between planets and moons. It took him a moral identity crisis to accept that. Sharon. Sorry. Anyways, the rules the Earthlings made don't mean anything. Like you. You are bigger than Mercury. Did you know that? I... I am? Yeah. Like the differences are so stupid. We put labels on everything, but so what? Planets are also divided into rocky planets, gas giants, ice giants. None of this means anyone is better or worse. Just please, don't try to rush change by resorting to violence. Give it time. Try to talk to your planets and stay united towards that goal. We made it work. I'm sure you all can do the same without, like, you know... Killing all Earthlings? Yep. Jenny Mead, I think I'm done. Saturn was trying to make things better last time we saw him. Same with us. Uranus actually wrote a letter and all that. I don't even know what's happening. This is over. Well, I guess it's just us now, Europa. Yep. Should we just play along? I guess we have to now. Okay. Um, you have made your point. And we have chosen not to kill the Earth. Yay! Everyone go back to your orbits! We'll stay in touch, and we will work together so that planets learn to appreciate us. For real this time, the revolution is over, but us moons will continue to stand united. Uh, yeah, what he said. Let's go back home. And fast. You can't stay too long outside of the Goldilocks zone, Earth. Okay, Mom. If it isn't Mr. Moon Revolution. Huh. I guess not anymore. Yep, but you made the right call. Are you going back to your planet? Not sure yet. We'll see. We kind of saved the day, didn't we? Yes. Yes, we did. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>